welcome female fans i'm your host joseph moore here and i'm bringing you the playoff game first round versus it's danny mack and the chicago chunks can the new england chargers overcome that loss we got against him earlier this season we didn't bring any of our hyper offense we're going pretty balls to the wall stellar and um he didn't bring the magna zone and i really thought he's gonna bring it this time around and he didn't but that kind of gives us another check to uh to vile plume and also he didn't bring him on leave so that's a little bit better for us as well i mean uh rat boot can still be a problem but you know it is what it is we'll figure it out and let's go ahead and get into the battle i think we still lead off rusted wing anyway and if he leads uh azuru assume belly drum and we whirlwind if anything else we just click uh stealth rocks because i don't think he brought uh defog on dragonite so i think we're gonna be good to go sir fetch is uh the pokemon we plan to max obviously um just in case that doesn't happen we still have gastrodon available and uh quite a few other mons as well Okay, so he led this, and we can't stay in on a pyro ball. Can we? Um, yeah, I'm going to click Stealth Rocks. We are max defense. I don't think it'll kill us. I mean, it has a good chance, but, you know, I'm not calking, so. If we lose it, we lose it. All right, Rude comes in. Okay. All right. So we get our Stealth Rocks up. And now we Whirlwind. I don't care. I don't want to know what this thing has. I don't... I don't want it in front of me. So I'm going to Whirlwind. Skymory's done its job. We got Stealth Rocks up. Uh, Magna Zone's not here. And he brought Special Azumarill. Interesting. All right, so we're gonna whirlwind it out, get some chip damage on something. Ooh, it's the dreaded vile plume. And we're burned, so we can kind of stay in here and just keep whirlwinding away. I'm gonna be that guy. All right, so he's gonna get his health back. He'll get health. That's fine. And we're going to whirlwind this thing out as well. And we're just going to chip down his team. Because, again, I was expecting... Um, I was expecting Magnuson to come. And I had the Wakan Berry... Uh, Wakan Berry body pressed... Uh, and then weak armor so I cannot speed it on the next one then like basically two co it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click body press here just to get more chip on this thing <laughs> hardly any okay uh, it's gonna hit us with the skull okay I'm gonna go tuxedo mask here Expecting another skull because we should be able to take that no problem Let's see if he reads the switch. No. Nope. Oh, he, he goes whirlpool. That's fine with me All right, he has whirlpool, but does he stay in that's the big question And if he doesn't stay in what does he go to I'm gonna click sludge bomb If he goes vile plume that's gonna be good cooking mama all right we're gonna get some payback here cooking mama goes ahead and takes those uh stealth rock damage oh gets poison and takes the sludge bomb so beautiful so even after the leftovers this to this toxic or well, poison damage should get it back in range of another sludge bomb 
So I'm going to go Sludge Bomb again. If he switches, he switches. But he doesn't. And Kangaskhan goes down. So big threat gone. Big max threat gone. Tuxedo Mask got its revenge. All right, first blood. First blood. We get first blood here. Cloud Jr. comes in, and this is where we sack Skarmory. Because Skarmory literally has no other use now. And that is obviously an Eviolite reboot. So now we just go Skarmory here. We go Skarmory here. I'm sure he's heavy duty boots on uh, Dragonite, but if he's not, that's fantastic. Uh, Cloud Jr. is faster than us uh, if he's running Jolly Max Speed, which I'm going to just assume he is and not risk it. So I'm switching. He should know I'm sacking the Skarmory at this point. Blaze kick. Oh, we missed. But I mean, we're, we're going to go down here anyway. We're just going to click body press. I mean, blaze kick will knock us out this time. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Got a critical hit. He made up for that miss right there. Okay. Do I want to pull the trigger? Not yet. I'm going to go Apollyon. I actually think this is a great move here. He didn't bring him on Lee, so what better thing to trick a lagging tail onto than this? Oh, he withdrew. He brings in Al Capone, which is a great name. Got to give it up to him. We're going to take his Assault Vest, probably. Oh, we get the Lumberry. Oh, even better. And we're going to go to Tupac here. Tupac? Uh, he goes Stealth Rocks and Lagging Tail. So we get Stealth Rocks on our side, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to go... I'm going to go Ice Beam here. He withdrew Al Capone. And he sends this thing in. Ice Beam's going to hit it pretty decently. I didn't feel like we needed the water move this time around. Oh, we got a crit. Okay, I'm going to go Tuxedo Mask. Do I go Tuxedo Mask? No, I'm going to go Great. I'm going to go Great. He's going to get his health back, which is going to be annoying. But, you know, it is what it is. And then we'll click Toxic. There's no way he stays in. Yeah, that stone damage is going to hurt, but that's fine. Strength tap. He's going to get his health back. That's fine. That is fine. I wonder how much health back it would have gotten if uh, we stayed in. I'm going to go toxic. No reason for him to stay in here. You damn right. Al Capone. Time to start weathering you down, boy. So Al Capone is now on a timer. Let's see. Um... 
Napoleon can still bring something back. Um, I'm gonna go back to Tupac. It's pretty much is the answer for this thing. Every time. Now, does he predict that? No, he doesn't. Okay, now I'm going to be aggressive, and I'm going to go to great. I'm going to go back out predicting the Vileplume. We're faster because of the lagging tail, uh, so he might not have stayed in. Let's see. We are over half, so that's good. Al Capone's attack fell, and Al Capone gets brought back in. Oh, but he goes to Rude. Nice, safe switch. That's a nice, safe switch right there, if i ever seen one. Um, I'm going to go Toxic again. If he stays in and we outspeed, that's great. Oh, beautiful. Toxic on everything. Parish song? That's fine. I guess he thought we were going to switch. Parish song counts to three. And now I flare blitz. Does a nice chunk. Man, he brought the Mimi set here. Oh, he go rest. Okay. I see you. Is he resto chesto? Oh, I should have picked knockoff there. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. Um, He might switch. I'm just going to click Flare Blitz. I mean, it would have been nice to get a Toxic there, but not worth it. Because if you would have switched into a Vile Plume, that's a free switch. Alright, we're trapped, so we're not going to be able to switch out. But that's fine. Our Parish Count is at 1 anyway. And... I go... Fuck it, I go knock off. Because if he goes to Dragonite, that thing's item is gone. Kushina. Yeah, Dragonite. As expected. Calculated. And we go knock off. Beautiful. Now... I go Tuxedo Mask and I Dazzle and Gleam. I Dazzle and Gleam because there's no reason for me not to. We're faster. And we hit hard. And once this thing is gone, the only threat is Mudsdale, and that, that one's toxic, so. We have done a lot better job this battle, but it's not over yet. That Vile Plume can still be a problem. Uh, let's see. Dazzling Gleam for the takeout. Yep, we got it down. Kashina goes down. Tuxedo Mask takes the brunt of that damage. Cloud Jr. comes back in. More HP gone. We go back to Tupac. 
go back to Tupac here. Go back to Tupac here. And just see what he decides to do. Tuxedo Mask comes out of the battle. Tupac goes in. We are Rocky Helmet. Oh, he's maxing here. Woohoo! He's maxing here. Good thing we didn't stay in. Um, I'm not sure how well we take hits. Uh, we are max defense, but we're also max uh, special defense as well. No HP investment. So let's see how this uh, max airstream hits. And it hits hard. That would hit pretty hard. I was not expecting that. I'm going to go Ice Beam. I'm going to go Ice Beam here. He goes Max Knuckle. Let's see if it knocks us out. Because Max Knuckle does hit a little bit less. Nope. Still takes us out. Okay. So this thing is a problem. Napoleon's going to come in. We're going to trick. I want that Eevee Light gone. This might seem like a throw, but uh, I think it's going to help us out. Because I think we can live a hit. Even though we're max HP, max special defense, I still believe we can live a hit. Um, and I want that Eevee light off. So max airstream. If we can live this hit, I think we might have game. Oh, we don't live the hit. Okay. Okay. So that's a little threatening. But this is what we live for. This is what it comes down to. At least we're maxed. He might be plus one, but we're going to be maxed. He knew we could, he couldn't kill with the max knuckle at plus one. Um, and I'm going to go. I'm going to go max airstream. If he goes bounce, it's going to kill a turn, but that's fine. We should be able to live it. Even at plus one, because we'll be maxed. Unless he has aerial ace and not bounce. Because we're going big here. Whew. This is what playoffs come down to. One big play. And he made that big play first. We we're playing pretty defensive, but now our back's against the wall. We got to make this hit. We gotta live this hit and then make this hit. All right, basically a full health surf fetch bounce. Okay, he wastes a turn. If he could miss here, <laughs> I hate to play for the hacks, but if he could miss here, that'd be great. All right, so we're going to go for the max airstream. And he missed. Oh, yep. That that was probably a game changer right there. That was probably the game changer right there, but we take those. You know, we what what's Pokémon without a little luck? Oh. I want I do wonder if that bounce would have killed though at plus 1 even though we're max. Cuz uh Rabu hit hard. It really do. All right, so Rude's going to come back in. And uh, we just Leaf Blade. Uh, uh, 
doing? No, I think he is bulky. I'm gonna max overgrowth. He is bulky. He is bulky. I can't I can't risk a non super effective hit. We are expert belt too, so that's gonna help uh, dish out the bonus damage. Oh sap sipper. Oh I'm stupid. Don't burn, please. Oh, and it burned. Oh, okay. Now we got to make a play. Uh, oh, I go facade. What am I thinking? Facade, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Facade should take this thing out. Thanks for the burn, pal. I forgot I had facade, to be honest. I prepped this two days ago, ginned it this morning. Oh, facade ain't enough, though. Whirlpool, we're stuck here. Uh, at least he didn't go for Parasong. Man, that bird didn't do much for being a facade boosted uh, attack. Alright, so we're going to go facade again. This one should knock it out, right? Yeah. Thank goodness. Okay. So, we're still hurt by burn. Um, if he goes... Yeah, I think I just click uh, Brave Bird here. Oh, dual wing beat. Duh. I mean, he's going to heal it all back. But that's fine. If we... Oh, actually, if he can knock us out with the Rocky Helmet... Oh, that would help. But it didn't. Oh, no. Strength Step gives him all the health in the world back. And now I think we lose. Because he's going to be at full health. I don't know if we can knock... Uh, hit this thing... Double effectively. Indubitably. I'm going to go for side. Okay, he switches to Alka Pony, knowing uh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Stamina boost. We go down to burn, though. Okay, we need the health. Um, this is this is the play. If I click Sludge Bomb twice and Vileplum comes in, I win. If I click Sludge Bomb and Vileplum doesn't come in, I lose. But Danny Mac is the kind of guy who will make that switch, so I'm clicking Sludge Bomb. Switch. Switch. Yes! Yes! I mean, it's a 50 50 shot. <laughs> oh, yes. Sludge Bomb again. No reason not to. Oh, man. Don't count your chickens before they hatch because you never know what could happen. But I think we have enough health to win this. And that did a good chunk. He must not be max HP like I predicted he would be. Tuxedo Mask goes into Sludge Bomb here. And then we can just Giga Drain for the win. Right? <laughs> like, you know, right? Can I? Ugh. Tuxedo Mask, saving my ass once again. I mean, yeah, we had to make the play, but oh, coming to my rescue, I feel like Sailor Moon right now. Whew. 
Giga Drain for the win. Like I said, that bounce miss kind of made a play. I mean, made a difference. Uh, but then again, who knows? Because I wasn't breaking that uh, Azumarill anyway. So, I mean, GG, Danny. It was a fun battle. Better than our last battle. <laughs> this one came down to the wire. It wasn't a 6-6. Six, six, so we can be happy about that. Uh, well, guys, we will see you next week in the second round of the PML playoffs. And we will see you guys next time. GG again, Danny.